I was just standing out here thinking about when my boys were little and they would come home from school and they would be so hungry. They would be starved. And of course, I, I naturally wanted to have them a snack ready. So that's what I'm gonna do today. The first thing I'm gonna be making is a mini veggie pizza. And then I'm gonna make some apple raisin mini muffins that are just delicious. And then later my boys are gonna be dropping in to help me make their favorite childhood snack, popcorn balls. And then I'm gonna finish up by making some pretzel peanut bar. So school's out, mom, we're hungry. We're ready for a snack, so come on. Are y'all ready to start your pizza, kids? Because that's what I'm making for us now. I'm taking rich, crispy English muffins and topping them with sauteed vegetables and two different kinds of cheese. Now I'm gonna start with one yellow squash. Isn't that pretty? And I know it's fresh and they're gonna get what they need out of it. And for the next one, I'm gonna be using the zucchini squash, which they love. So I've got beautiful colors going on here. I've got beautiful flavors. Now let's come over here and I'm gonna turn on our skillet because I don't have a, a marinara a sauce or anything like that. So I'm gonna make one using fresh tomatoes. And this is three quarters of a cup of halved grape tomatoes. Now I'm gonna give them a little squeeze to kind of get them broke up and going. Okay. All right, I'm gonna add a little olive oil to them. It would have been great had I had time to roast these in the oven, but I didn't, so I'm just gonna quickly roast them right here in my pan. All right, now while those are finishing, come on over here. And let's talk about our crust for our pizza. I'm gonna be using an English muffin. It's gonna make us a nice thick crust. And we're gonna put them over here on our baking sheet. All right, now it's time for us to put our tomatoes on. I'm gonna come over here now and I'm gonna divide the tomato on my English muffins. So it's fine that we don't have a sauce. Our tomatoes are gonna give us a little tomatoey taste. All right, now that gets that. All right, now it's time for us to saute our vegetables off. And I'm gonna add a little bit more olive oil to the pan. And in goes three cups of diced eggplant and a fourth of a cup of diced onions. And it won't take but just a second for those to saute off. Now I'm gonna throw in my squash and my zucchini. And I don't wanna cook these much because remember, we're gonna cook our pizzas in the oven. So they're gonna have more cooking to them. All right. So let's bring our pizzas up here. And let's just pile our veggies on. I don't want them to be skimpy. I want these to be nice and generous. Mmm. They really smell good. Okay, let's come back over here. All right, let's get our veggies up there. Now I'm gonna sprinkle them with just a little balsamic vinegar, not much, but just a little bit to give them that flavor. Okay, and then on goes some mozzarella cheese. Oh yeah. You know, if, if you as parents will have everything ready for them. They can come in and they can even make their own pizzas, put them together and, and put what they want on it. 
Now we're gonna go in with a little feta cheese. Feta adds so much to pizza. It's gonna give it just a little bite on your pizza. We're gonna sprinkle each of our pizzas with a Greek seasoning. Because the fat and the tomatoes, you know, it just reminds me that it's maybe just a little bit on the Greek side. But I think this will be nice. I think they'll like it. All right, now I'm gonna take some fresh basil and just shred that just a little bit. And then just put a little bit of fresh basil. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, there we go. Now, we're just gonna run these in the oven. We're gonna put them in a preheated oven of 400 degrees, and we're gonna let these bake for maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Not very long. We just want our English muffin very crispy and crunchy, and our vegetables just melted all in that cheese. So let's put them in the oven. When we come back, I'm gonna be making us some scrumptious apple raisin mini muffins. And then later, my boys are gonna be dropping in to help me make their favorite childhood snack, popcorn balls. So I'll see y'all back here in a minute. It's all about the kids today. Hey, y'all, welcome back. Today's show is all about afternoon snacks. And kids, I've got our first snack ready to come out of the oven. Those little mini pizzas with the feta cheese. Oh, they're gonna be so good. Look at them. Doesn't that look good? You know, and the fun thing about pizzas is you can make them and put whatever you want on them. And today we have tomatoes and zucchinis and yellow squashes and find out your onions and eggplant. Look how good that looks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mmm. Yummy. And the English muffin that we used made such a nice crust. It's almost kind of like a little deep dish pizza. I think the kids will love them. Well, move on down the counter because I want to show you the easiest recipe for little apple raisin mini muffins that you ever put in your mouth. It's so easy. I'm going to start with two apples that I've peeled and grated. All right. And I'm going to throw them into the skillet where I've got two sticks of butter melting. These apples are gonna make these little mini muffins so moist and delicious. All right, now I'm gonna add two cups of raisins. And that's a lot of raisins. If you're not a real big raisin fan, you can certainly cut back on that amount. I'm gonna add one cup of water. I'm going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of cloves. So we've got all those good spices that taste so good with apple. All right, now to this, we're going to add two cups of sugar. So you can see that these are almost going to be cake-like in the fact that they're sweet. It almost reminds me of carrot cake muffins. All right. We're going to let this cook for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to let it completely cool. And I have some that's already cooked back here and that has cooled. So I'm going to bring this up here. And you can see what it looks like. The apples are just, you know, really cooked now. And the raisins are plump. And the butter and the sugar has made it kind of thick. All right, now in this bowl, I have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking soda. 
I'm just gonna kind of flip that together. Now these are real easy to put together. All we're gonna do is take our apple mixture and mix it in with our flour and a cup of walnuts. Now the walnuts are real good, but if you don't have anything but pecans, you can certainly use those. So that's all it is. Really doesn't take but just a minute. The thing that I like about these little apple muffins is not only are they good for an afternoon snack along with a glass of milk, they're great to go along with breakfast. Um, a hot bowl of oatmeal. All right, I have my mini muffin tins that I've sprayed with a nonstick spray. Now I'm gonna use like, this looks to be about a one ounce ice cream scoop. All right, so we're gonna fill each one of these little muffin holes with our batter, and we're gonna fill them all the way to the top, just like this. This is a perfect scooper. Okay. Now, we're gonna put these in a 350 degree preheated oven, and we're gonna bake these for about 15 minutes. When we come back, y'all, my boys are gonna be stopping in to help me make their favorite childhood snack, popcorn balls. And later, I'm gonna be making a sweet and savory pretzel peanut bark. So I'll meet y'all right back here in the kitchen. 15 minutes at 350. Welcome back, y'all. Today is all about afternoon snacks. And you know, I really kind of like to control what my children eat. Of course, you're gonna laugh when I show you the next thing that they really love for after school. But our muffins are ready. Look how good these look. And you see, I filled them to the tip top when I was putting the batter in and they have worked out just perfectly. Now, if you wanted to, you could make these in a regular muffin pan. You just have to cook them a little bit longer. All right, now I think they'll all pop out. There we go. And these make a lot. These make a lot of little mini muffins. And these freeze well, too. You can, you can make them ahead of time, stick them in the freezer, and when you go out camping or on a picnic or fishing, all you have to do is pop these out and they're ready to go. Aren't those pretty? All right, now personally, I like mine with a little cream cheese or a little butter. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Mmm. The perfect snack with a glass of milk. They're so good. That's a real keeper. Well, come on down here because I can't hardly wait to make my popcorn balls. Now, you can see I've got a candy thermometer here in my pot. Well, I'm gonna need it because we're gonna make a syrup and we're gonna cook that syrup to 255 degrees. Now to make our syrup, I'm gonna use one and a third cup of water, one teaspoon of vinegar, a white vinegar, a pinch of salt, a half a cup of white corn syrup. That looks perfect. And I didn't do this, but if you'll spray your measuring cup with a nonstick spray, that syrup will come out a lot easier. All right, now to this, we're gonna add two cups of sugar. Whoops. There we go. All right, we're just gonna stir it together. And then we're just gonna let it cook away, like I said, to 255 degrees. 
Hey, y'all. Hey, son. Popcorn's my favorite. Hey, I can buddy. smell it from a mile away. <laughs> and sugar. What are y'all doing? I'm making the snack that your Grandma Paul used to make for you. I just got our syrup cooked up to 255 degrees. Now I'm going to stir in Wait, which a snack is this? Popcorn balls, Popcorn brother. Popcorn balls. Oh. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Ooh, we. Wow, that smells great, too. Doesn't it smell wonderful? That vanilla, boom. Where, as as where, where have y'all been? What are y'all? We've been out playing. Y'all slipped in and I didn't even. Whoa, now. All right. Take that, Bobby, and mix <laughs> it up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is the car running? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because we, we would have we to take... We need to go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks for the offer. You're welcome. Look how sticky that is. It is sticky. What is that? It's popcorn. I mean, I know that. No, I know what that is, but I mean, what is that? I don't... Oh, it's just the syrup that's going to stick our balls together. Come here, Bobby. You have to hey. work... Hey! <laughs> Come here, Bobby. Let's put us on some gloves. Okay. Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put some on, although I'm not going to touch that hot stuff. I'm just going to wear them. I don't want to touch it either. You don't want to touch it? No, I don't. Well, I'm going to touch it. Do you have to work with it pretty quick? It's so sticky, does it get? Yeah, I mean, it'll get. Look at that. That's not that hot. Bunch of sissies. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. I know it is a little warm. That's not so bad. All right, and it was sticking. <laughs> yes, it was. That was the problem. <laughs> Jamie, here. Like Whoa. my asphalt. Oh, wait, don't spray my ball. Look now. <laughs> spray my ball. Ooh, ooh. How many? Ooh. Now, how many is this gonna make? That's not as many as we want it to Golly, make. Golly, that's hot. You know, and you can make these different sizes. Like I would kind of like this size. That would be just like just enough for Jamie me. Jamie must have made that one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> No, it looks good. Y'all are so much fun to be with. I just love being with y'all. I wish I could zap you back into little boys sometimes, but I can't. When we come back though, y'all, we're gonna be moving on to another great after school snack. And it's gonna be pretzel peanut bark. Hey, welcome back y'all. It's all about after school snacks today. And this next recipe is a white chocolate pretzel peanut bark. It's the perfect combination of sweet and savory with salty pretzels and peanuts and sinfully sweet white chocolate. Now I have melted 18 ounces of white chocolate in my bowl over hot water. I've got three cups of pretzels the pretzel sticks, and I've kind of broken them up, and I'm just gonna dump those in, and I have two cups of salted peanuts. Y'all have heard me say so often how I love the sweet and the salty together, and uh, this just makes a perfect snack. Now, all we have to do is stir these together. All right, so there we go, just that easily. It's mixed together. Let me turn off my pot and move it out of the way. All right, now I've got a parchment paper lined cookie sheet. And I'm just gonna pour this out onto the sheet. Ooh, look at that white chocolate. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Now I'm just gonna spread this out and we're gonna let it cool on the counter for, you know, three or four hours, just until it's hard. And then we're gonna break this up in pieces. And then it's ready to eat. Great afternoon snack, isn't it? So there it is, just that easy, kids. 18 ounces of white chocolate, three cups of broken pretzels, and two cups of salted peanuts. And we're gonna let it sit here until it's hardened and I've got one right here. So why don't we go over to the table and look at all the yummy after-school snacks we have. Come on. So we got all our snacks together for the children. Our bark is ready. 
all we have to do is break it into nice big pieces just like that. Mmm. Boy, how is that good? The salty pretzels and the white chocolate are so good together. Yum. You know, I think the kids are just gonna love all these afternoon snacks. The little veggie pizza minis, it's a good nutritious snack. The apple raisin mini muffins are just perfect. And of course, that moves us on to our popcorn balls. It's fun to get in the kitchen with your children and make these. I hope y'all have had a good time this afternoon with me making these snacks for our children. And I hope, kids, that y'all will get in the kitchen with Mommy, make these snacks together, and along with these snacks, make some wonderful memories for y'all. And until next time, you know I always send you love and best dishes from my kitchen to yours.